Hello, it's PC Helper here. In today's video, I'll be discussing with you all error code NTFS file system which causes the blue screen of death error on your PC. So this video is the part of my series in which I am one by one taking all the major error codes which causes blue screen of death and solving them. So let's get started. So in my previous video, I've already discussed with you inaccessible boot device error. If you haven't watched this video and you are facing this problem, so you can watch that video. And now we'll be discussing about NTFS file system. So to solve this problem, first of all, like all to solve all the errors, first we clean boot our PC. And I've already made a quick guide on how to clean boot your PC. And you can access that video by clicking here on the top right corner of your screen. Or you can just find the link in the description of this video of that video in which I have shown that guide on how to clean boot your PC. So that's it for the first step that is clean booting your PC. I have three major workarounds for this issue. So the first one is system restore. It's hard to record your PC while your PC is restarting. So I will demonstrate the solutions of this problem with the help of screenshots I took while solving my problem. So once the restart loop starts which because of the blue screen of death error, after some time you will be redirected to the screen in which it will show preparing automatic repair. After that the screen will appear with diagnosing your PC and after some time you will be redirected to a page in which it will be written that your PC did not start correctly, press restart to restart your PC and so on. Here click on advanced options. Here in again advanced options click on advanced options again. Here click on troubleshoot your PC. Once you click on troubleshoot again go to advanced options and click on system restore. So system restore use a restore point recorded on your PC to restore windows. Then restore system file and settings this screen will appear then click on next. So I only had one restore point, you can have many and in some cases there will be no restore point. So all you have to do is cancel this if you have no restore points and just forward it to the second step or the second workaround because then this workaround will be of no use to you if you have no restore points. So click on next. Once you click on next, click on finish. Please read all these things. If you have changed your windows password recently we recommend that you create a password reset disk system restore needs to restart your computer to apply these changes before you proceed save any open files and close all programs so click on finish and after that this screen will appear once started system restore cannot be interrupted do you want to continue then click on yes after that it will initialize the process and system restore will again start and restart your PC so if it works for you that's good or then just forward to the second step that's it for the first step if after first step your problem is not solved then you will again be redirected to this screen here click on advanced options again here go to troubleshoot and again once you click on troubleshoot, click on advanced options in on the next screen and you will be redirected to this screen. Here don't click on system image recovery, click on startup repair. Here we have to do the startup repair. As the cursor is on system image recovery in the screenshot, please don't mind. Just click on startup repair. Once you click on startup repair, it will again diagnose your PC and then checking disk for errors and this might take over an hour. So once the disk checking is done, Either your PC will normally boot and everything will be fine or else you will again be redirected to this screen and if this happens then a third step will come. So that's it for a second step. So now let's come to the third step and which I believe is the most important one. So here again click on advanced options, here click on troubleshoot again. And once you are in troubleshoot, again go to advanced options. 
and in advanced options this time click on command prompt so once you are in command prompt you will have such screen on you will see a screen like this then here type c and then these columns so once you are in your c drive and press once you type this c and these columns and press enter then you will be in your c drive here you have to type dir dir and press enter so once you type dir and press enter you will have this content on your screen which shows all the folders in your c drive after that type cd slash windows slash system32 slash config and press enter so once you type this like as i have written here and press enter you will be in the config folder of your system32 which is in the windows of your c drive after that type md space backup and press enter here you are in the config and here again type copy space star dot star like this star dot star and then space backup as you can see i have written here space backup copy space star dot star space backup and press enter then you will see various components on your screen it will show that 10 files are copied and here you have to write then you will again see a screen like this in which it will be written c windows system32 config here type cd space reg back that is registry backup so once you press enter now you will be in the reg backup folder as you can see here here just type copy star dot star copy space star dot star and press enter once you press enter it will ask you to overwrite all the things as you can see overwrite default question mark yes no or on so to replace everything type here a it's not written automatically here you have to type a so once you type a and press enter all these five files sam security software system will be overwritten so now again just press just type here exit 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 and you will be redirected to this screen and here now you have to turn off your pc click on turn off your pc and once your pc is restarted then most probably it will boot automatically in normal mode and there will be no problem in 90 percent cases this workaround works and this was the last step so that's all i had related to ntfs file system error code which causes the blue screen of death so if it worked for you please hit the like button below also if you have any query write in the comment section and don't forget to subscribe for more thank you and have a nice day